Hey guys, just wanted to do a video today of a new driver circuit I'm using on the motor. Uh, explain a little bit about the motor, show the consumption rate, and that'll be it for today. I've been sick for the last few days, but I wanted to share this before I got into rewiring the top turbine. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that to show anybody that want to know how to rewire the three phase into the single phase for a low drag generator that that video would explain how um, this drive circuit here I'm absolutely in love with it it's a drive circuit by wind power and more so let's talk a little bit about the motor on the bottom which is a wiring night nightmare. There is a wind turbine rewired. I'm only driving off of one of the bifiler L1s. Uh, all three phases are bifiler. On the bottom, I have them all separated, wound in series, and then I'm just driving off of one single winding on the closest one. Consumption rate's better when I run two in series. But I'm going to rewire this. So that's what's on the bottom. Currently, the top generator wind turbine is running through a three-phase motorcycle rectifier and some caps before the charge controller on a big battery. The coils on the bottom turbine that are round in series are running through a small rectifier that go into a 24 volt system here. I've got a little battery and a big battery on the 24 volt system trying to charge these two up. The center coils are pickup coils also that run through a strange rectifier that I found on some kind of generator. It's like a three wire. I'm jumping a ground off of one of the AC connections. It's probably the wrong hookup, but it's working. So the output of these coils will go to these LED lights. They are car fog lights, LEDs. I'm just basically using them to collect the extra stuff right now and I can kind of judge my RPMs of the motor on how bright they're getting. So current input voltage is going to be 12.1 volts. This meter here will just show the amp draw today. Like I said, it's powered by a circuit from wind power more. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. Oh, and the back EMF from the driver board is running to a junk car battery I got. It was at 6 volt two days ago because I've been running the hell out of this thing. Uh, so all the back spike goes to this battery. I'll show that in the video too, that how much it rises. It does seem when you get the circuit and the motor in tune that the back spike battery really pushes up fast. So let me connect the power. So input voltage is 12.1 volt. My timing is a little off, but let's go ahead and crank it up at first. So current amp draw. We'll fine tune it here in a second. So we're running 12 volt, almost an amp. So 12 watts to get her up to speed. The top wind turbine isn't charging the battery yet. LEDs are not lighting up. Back spike battery hasn't come up yet. Now 
down to about a half amp. We'll go ahead and fine tune it. Get up to about a third of an amp. LEDs are slowly lighting, so the RPM still ain't high. Go ahead and crank her back up a little bit. That's the amp draw of the motor. Let it come up to speed. It's a little slow. The flywheel and the extra magnets and stuff in there, it weighs almost 60 pounds. So that's quite a bit for that bottom one wind turbine on the single coil to push. Okay, the LEDs are starting to light up now because the RPMs are coming up. Not charging yet. We're just going to go ahead and crank it up a little bit more. Charging there. LEDs off of these coils here. The frequency isn't pushing the battery up currently. We'll adjust the frequency again. I have to let it run a while before I can get this to come up again. I've got it to go over 12 volts, running 3 watts. So this is all the back EMF going to this battery. Like I said, my timing's a little bit off. I think I'm going to move it to the outer part here so I can cut my duty cycle down just a little bit. Well, thanks for watching guys. Thanks, Wind Power and more. I love it, dude. This, I love the plug and play. Not getting a whole lot of heat on the heat sink. It gets a little warm. The max I've drawn through it on the motor was one amp. But I love it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll do another video when I'm feeling better here, and I'm going to show a video of rewiring that one. And then I've got a few more toys out in the garage that we've been working on this year I'd like to show. Some bigger DC motors and electric stuff. See you on the next video.